1080 was originally developed as an insecticide. However, researchers soon discovered that it killed practically every insect that ate it. Doc commissioned a study by their premier invertebrate uh, scientist, Mike Meads, to determine what the effect of uh, aerial 1080 drops was on invertebrate populations. Now, we all know what invertebrates are. They're the insects, the spiders, the bugs, the worms, everything that doesn't have a backbone. As you're probably aware, these are essential creatures in any environment. They're responsible for uh, decomposing leaf litter, they're responsible for breaking down animal carcasses. They're, they're, uh, bugs are the backbone of the environment. What the Mead study showed was that about 50%, 50% of invertebrates, if you looked at the overall populations among all species, uh, were killed uh, by aerial 1080. When Doc heard about this uh, result, they uh, immediately commissioned another study. But they analyzed the study in a way that virtually guaranteed we'd see no difference between the experimental and the control groups. When you fail to detect a difference, what you say is, well, we didn't detect a difference. You don't say it isn't true. You say we didn't detect a difference between the experimental and control. Maybe we have to do the study again. Meads was essentially forced out of his job at DSIR. Back in 1994, when I did my report, I suggested that it, we need long-term monitoring because we were just fiddling around, not really knowing what was killing what by what rate. Everybody agreed, long-term monitoring. Yes, we must have long-term monitoring. It's now 2008. 14 years after I gave that recommendation, not one piece of long-term monitoring has been entered into at all. And so we are left with this virtual certainty, or at least strong suspicion, that a very important uh, element of our forest ecosystems are being systematically poisoned every three years. We discovered dust and fragments were enough to blow across an area and kill invertebrates down on the ground months afterwards. Has any studies been done on this? Not a one. I mean, Doc to this day continues to assert the, uh, what amounts to an oxymoron. That, uh, that somehow an insecticide, a substance invented as an insecticide, does not kill insects. Actually, this, is, though, this is beyond belief, actually, that they actually continue to assert in public that an insecticide does not kill insects on the basis of one badly analyzed study, this issue alone. If there were no other issue, if there were not all the dead birds, if there were not the lack of evidence of benefit, if there were not all the ecosystem uh, concerns, this one issue alone should be enough to just shut this thing down tomorrow. It's estimated that there are about 50,000 multicellular species, that is plants, animals and fungi, that are native to New Zealand but have not yet been formally described. So it's inconceivable to me that any individual or organisation can feel that there's sufficient known about 1080 to be applying it aerially. Fundamental tenet of ecology is that all living things live in equilibrium. When one disturbs the equilibrium by...